Portfolio Tech presentation, Creating Your Identity. First thing you need to do when you come to your identity page is define a custom URL where people can locate you on the web. Choose something unique and type it into this box and they can find you at foliotech.me slash whatever you decided. You can edit this in the future by going to account settings. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. The first time through, we'll walk you through a simple tutorial. So you can go through this each time. Uh, the first time you come into Folio Tech presentation, it's a super helpful way to learn more about the system. Once you've walked through that, you can begin modifying your identity page. You can click and drag this content area around and using the action list on the left, gain access to other features within managing your identity. These are a bunch of templates you can pick from. I will choose this one to begin this demonstration. As you can see, the background image changed and the color scheme affiliated with that content block is also associated with that background image. Again, I can move this around to figure out where I want to place it, but let's say I don't like that background image. I can come to the background area and choose a different one. We have about 2,000 images that you can pick from. Uh, you can filter by any of our categories listed here or upload your own if you already have uploaded some, you can access those as well. Go ahead and select an image. Once you have chosen the image, outside of resizing it, you can also choose to make it black and white, or you can even blur that background image. We're gonna make this image black and white for the purpose of this demonstration. The content area also has an image behind it. You can choose to make it solid without an image or keep the image there. I'm going to go ahead and remove that background image on the content area. But as you can see, I don't like those colors. We have a few color options, again, all based off of the image you selected. Since, however, this particular image doesn't have any color, since I made it black and white, I'm going to use the black and white option, and I can swap back and forth to choose if I want white on black or black on white. I can also change my fonts for the header and the additional fonts in the rest of the content area. After I like my selection, again, I can come over and position the content area just where I want it. You'll notice that as I hover, I have additional options for components that, that I can execute. I can click and drag these areas above or below one another to place them where I think is best for my identity page. And the pencil icon on each of these areas matches up with a pencil in this left actions menu where I can edit that content area. So I can click on one of those pencils and make modifications. For example, I'd like to upload a profile image. I have previously uploaded one, so I will select from what I've uploaded. I can resize that image and drag it around and crop it so it fits in my profile placement perfectly. I can also make it black and white or sepia if I wish. I can modify my description. And I have some simple HTML editing tools like bolding, underlining, and bulleted lists. I even have a link that if I wished I could place into this area. Adding my email into the system allows other people to contact me through my identity page. If however I don't wish to be contacted, I can click this green circle and switches to red and that contact button is gone. Similarly, links can also be disabled, so I could choose to not display any links in the system. Should be noted that your email does not actually appear on your contact card, just a simple contact form that gets sent to your email address. I can connect my identity with some social components. I can add in work experience, as well as school experience if I wished. I'm gonna go ahead and type in some work experience here. Sherlock Holmes was a detective. And you'll see that my work experience will display beneath my school experience. So now it appears over here on the right. If I don't like where that's positioned, I simply come over and with my mouse reposition those blocks. At any point in time, I look at the published version of my identity page. It is always published. Once I begin editing it, it saves automatically. And then I can go into the account settings where I can modify the public facing URL where people can find me. 
Going back to the dashboard, you'll see that the screenshot of my identity page has been updated. This ends how you create your identity page in Folio Tech presentation.